Okay, once again, this question is talking about the adaptations of mangrove. It is good that we can view the video to understand this better. Okay, can I see the video now? Yes. Okay, I play the video. Mangroves are plants that grow in intertidal regions in coastal areas. An intertidal region is submerged with salt water during high tides and exposed to the air during low tides. Mangroves have a number of adaptations that allow them to survive in this ever-changing environment. The soil in which mangroves grow is soft and low in oxygen. To survive in such soil, many mangroves have stilt roots that prop up the plant and prevent the shoot system from being submerged during high tides. Plant cells, including those in mangrove roots, require oxygen. Normally, oxygen can be taken in through pockets of air in the soil. The soil where mangroves grow has little space for air and is very low in oxygen. To adapt to this low oxygen environment, some mangroves have specialised root structures called pneumatophores. Okay, let me pause for a while. So as explained here, because you know, right, roots are living parts of the mangrove, so they need oxygen. So this part in the mangrove area the soil or the mud, right, is constantly being submerged underwater. So the air spaces, right, in the soil or mud, uh, has been filled by the water. So when the water en enters, the air escapes. So that's been below the soil or the mud, there is almost no air and no oxygen. So by having these structures growing upwards above the soil, the roots can take in the surrounding oxygen for the mangrove trees. Okay, let's continue. Low oxygen environment. Some mangroves have specialized root structures called pneumatophores. These vertical structures stick up out of the soil and enable the mangrove root system to take up oxygen from the atmosphere. Another unique adaptation of mangroves can be seen in their life cycle. The seeds of many mangroves germinate and begin to grow while So these are actually uh, the seed of the mangrove and they started to germinate on a parent plant. So this will relate to the question later. They ask you to choose which is the possible shape of the mangrove seed. Huh? So by looking at this, you can answer the question easier. Still attached to the parent plants. Once developed, the seedling falls away. The seedlings float and are dispersed to new places by the tidal flow of water. Mangroves are an important component of coastal ecosystems. Mangrove forests provide breeding and feeding grounds for a range of animals, including fish, crabs, birds, and some mammals. They also help to protect the coastline from erosion from waves, storm surges, and tsunamis. See you. Okay, so I return back to the question here. So at your own free time, I want you to search at this. Huh? So because Singapore has this wetland reserve called Sungai Bulu. You can study some of the plant adaptation there. So by viewing the video, right? What type of adaptation, is it structural or behavioural, do the roots of plant X show? So can you see this plant X? Is the roots part of the organism? Yes, right? So that's what I taught you. If it's part of the organism, it will be structural. So we answer this, is structural. Then you, the reason is, because you need to give a reason, right? So you see that the, the roots are part of the physical features of the plant. Okay? The roots, huh? so yes, is structural. Structural. And then you say the roots 
are part of the feature okay feature of plant x plant x okay it's not a behavior it's because it's it's part of the plant so this is how we answer quite easy one mark and this one by looking at just now the mangrove seed right so you will definitely choose this as answer right shape p okay so you have to explain why shape p works better because when it falls down right can you notice the sharp end it can poke through the soft uh, soft muddy soil easier and allows the new plant to grow Okay, remember just now it start to it already germinated on the parent plant right yeah. so you try to answer this question you say that uh, this p shape uh, it also has a streamlined body okay you see uh, shape p has a streamlined body is able to pierce pierce into the mud and go deeper into the mud so that the seed right this seed right can be firmly planted into the mud Okay, and then you answer the next question, part C and part D. Part D, remember this question is related to P5 about the overcrowding and competition with the parent plant. Okay, so to answer these two questions. And then next week, uh, I will go through the answer with you all for question 3, Arctic Fox and number four so i want you to try the number three and number four yourself okay number three and number four 